Looking for an amazing brake pad for street and light duty track use? This is the DBA SP500 brake pads. What's up guys, Rick with Rally Sport Direct here. In front of me, I have the new DBA SP500 brake pads. I've got the box right here. Let's go ahead and open these things up. Now, first thing I want you to notice is just how well these things are packaged. I really love the unboxing experience of these brake pads, which is not something you generally see in brake pads. And I think that's just like a testament to DBA's uh, just quality. But I mean, the box itself has like a nice suction, even, even as you're just pulling it off. Um, wow, a really good suction and just really high quality packaging. I know you guys are going to make fun of me for the, the boxing, but it is important. It honestly is. Um, of course, you've got some uh, sticker on top and some literature about their different brake pads that they offer because this is, um, <clears throat> when I say like the lowest in the line, I don't mean in quality, I just mean in temperature wise. So let me go ahead and pull these pads out for you guys. set that off to the side there so these brake pads now of course these ones are going to be specific for Subaru but I really wanted to cover uh, just the you know actual brake pad and uh, what they're for in general so uh, of course you have the uh, OEM style shim on the back uh, which will help prevent you know noise and that kind of stuff and then of course you've got your noise indicators your little uh, chirpy chirpies right there uh, if your brake pads ever get low you're going to start hearing them chirp and that's actually this guy right there um, other than that very just simple brake pad no copper in this one but it still has an effective heat range of 60 degrees to 900 degrees fahrenheit well a little over 900 degrees fahrenheit or about 500 degrees celsius um, which makes this a very aggressive street pad. Uh, I would call it like a, you know, autocross or light duty uh, track day pad, for example. Um, but you can still daily drive on these. They have pretty low dust, pretty low noise, uh, which is pretty amazing with the amount of heat that these pads can take and still be effective. So with 60 degrees um, heat range, that means if it was, you know, 30 degrees out on a cold winter morning and your first stop of the day, it's not going to stop the best. You, you're still going to be able to stop, but you're going to notice, you're like, wow, these things kind of feel like they're just sliding along uh, and you have to apply a little bit more force. But as soon as a little bit of heat gets generated um, and you bring that rotor up to temp, these things will really start biting in hard and they bite hard up to 900 degrees Fahrenheit, which means uh, compared to your stock pads, uh, you're going to be able to last a lot longer out on track. They're going to have better feel compared to the stock pads, uh, better initial bite, just better all around. But of course, you can expect a little bit more noise, a little bit more dust. Um, that's just the name of the game when it comes to brake pads. I mean, a lot of people always ask like, oh, I want a performance brake pad, but you know, I don't want any dust or noise. And it's like, well, Good luck, <laughs> you, it's, it's not possible. There's no, um, it's just the more aggressive you get, the more do dust and the more noise you can expect. But, um, and then a, a lot of people ask, well, I want a pad that's going to last longer than stock. And my thing is, how do you drive the car? Because if you drive like my grandma drives a car, these aren't going to last as long. But if you're driving the car aggressively, you are taking it out to autocross, you are taking it out to track days, you know, you are, you know, cruising the canyons and driving aggressively. These will probably actually last longer than your factory pads just because your factory pads aren't meant to handle the type of heat generated, um, like, you know, driving aggressively and so they'll wear out quicker. So if you get a brake pad that suits what your driving style is, um, that's always going to be the best. And being that these, you can still daily drive on them. I would highly recommend these for just about anybody out there. Chances are, if you're watching this video, uh, you're probably within that. And if you're, you know, more experienced uh, track user, you're, you probably already know which brake pads or which temperature range you need. But the nice thing about DBA is if you go with their rotors, for example, they have heat paint on it. And so you can actually see how hot your rotors are getting um, because they come with a little card that shows you, okay, uh, so this green paint, if it turns this color, it's reached this temperature, which makes it nice to be able to uh, pick the correct pad for your, you know, for how you drive. Because it, 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 a lot of people are just like, oh, I'll just go with the most aggressive pad. And, you know, and that's not always the best because you actually get better performance if you operate within the pad's heat range. It has a kind of a sweet spot. Um, and so if you can maintain it within that range, 
you're gonna be a lot happier. The brakes are gonna be a lot happier. And you know, it's just, you're gonna have better braking performance all around. But these are fantastic pads. I know I've rambled on and on and on, but I think it's important to cover this kind of stuff because brakes are incredibly important when you're building a car. Um, and even if your car is bone stock, but you do like to drive aggressively, um, going with a proper set of brakes can make a world of difference. I don't know if, you know, you take out a, a you know, your brand new STI, you finally broken it in. You're like, cool, I'm gonna go attack the canyon. And you're cruising down and you're, you know, hard on the brakes, corner through corner. And you're start gonna, you're gonna start noticing that pedal's getting soft. And that's because you've already exceeded the temperature range of your factory pads. And uh, of course you have a little bit of a safety barrier there. You're still gonna be able to slow down and stop. But if you keep going, eventually you're gonna get to the point where you've either boiled the fluid or you've just essentially melted the factory pads and you're not going to be able to stop. And that's where a pad like this is really gonna come into play because that's this pad's bread and butter is canyon attacking, autocross, light duty track use. It just eats that kind of stuff up and just wants more and more. It's a fantastic pad. Check it out. It's all the time we've got for you today. Thanks for checking out What's in the Box. See you guys next time.